Vale was the victim of a hit run. High-tech alcohol interlocks that take pictures are about to be fitted to the vehicles of a record number of drink drivers. The crackdown means anyone who blows over 0.07 will get the device installed. A quick trip home from a night out ended with pea plater Joel Rosella blowing well over the limit. It's just embarrassing. You know, you look like an idiot. Now the tradie has an alcohol interlock fitted to his car. It must be activated to start the vehicle and is designed to go off at random every time he drives. It's an idiot whistle. You know, don't get caught. It costs you an arm and a leg. You know, you go to work, you spend so much money having to you know, go through this process, just don't do it. Currently, interlocks are only used if drivers blow over 0.15, but from October, they'll be compulsory if you record over 0.07, are a repeat offender or are a P or L plate driver caught with any alcohol in your system. At the moment, there's around about 5,400 alcohol interlocks fitted each year. Uh, we anticipate, unfortunately, that that number will grow to over 10,000. One of the problems with the old interlocks was that anyone could blow into them to start a car. Now there's photographic evidence to stop a driver from cheating the system. All new interlocks include a camera which randomly snaps pictures of the driver. The data is then sent to Vicrose. There is still a minority of people, a minority of drivers that continue to flout the law and put themselves at risk and others at risk. This is to combat those uh, people that continue to do the wrong thing. From Saturday, a new TAC ad will begin airing, highlighting just how annoying an interlock is. The interlocks are pain. It will make people stop and think. It will stop them in their tracks. Jacqueline Felgate, 7 News. And Geelong Ruckman Dawson.